Hi everyone and welcome to Hot Shots TV. I'm Scott Briard. We're here this week, we're going to, going to review some fantastic dart sets for you. Some new darts out by Unicorn. Uh, some of the new John Part sets and we'll go over some of his old sets um, that I know many of you, especially from Canada, are partial to um, that play with and some of the new designs with some new grip um, that we think you're going to be really excited about. Uh, I'm also going to tell you a little bit about the event we had last Friday uh, my fantastic wife, Kelly, decided that we needed to hold a unicorn product event for some of the new designs that came out, some of the new sponsor player sets and such. Um, so Kelly went ahead and organized a fantastic event that we had last Friday. Now, 13,000 of you in our database got emails about it. Fortunately for us, not everybody showed up. Um, we would have been in real trouble. But it was great that we had 75 of you that did come out. Um, we were fortunate uh, because of our history uh, in darts and such to have been able to get a hold of John Part in such a short period of time. So three-time world champion John Part came out, spent a few hours here with our customers, uh, sort of going over the darts that he uses, why he selected the sets and design that he has over the years. Um, many of you got to try out darts while he was here, uh, go over your throw, your stance and such with him, which is really important. Uh, someone like John has certainly spent hours, if not you know days, weeks, months and years, just throwing darts at a dartboard realizing what works and what doesn't. Winning world championships, um, he's had the ability to, uh, to play well over the years at that sort of professional level. He know, does know a bit about then, you know, the equipment that's necessary, uh, the stance and such. And for however other people need to stand and throw, he's been with many other thousands of dart players over the years spending time playing. So he certainly knows what's necessary for those, how you throw, your stance, your height, your weight, how hard you throw. So we had a fantastic time Friday. Uh, spent many time, uh, many hours on Friday with people going over, you know, the necessary dart that they need to, need to throw, the right weight, the correct stance and such. I think everybody had a fantastic time. Many people left uh, not only with a new set of darts, but with a more appreciation for the game and, and I think everyone had a fantastic time. We certainly received a lot of comments um, on, on Saturday by email, a lot of phone calls even came in thanking us for, having, for everyone having such a great time and for throwing the party. I can't thank Kelly enough and for John Park for making the trek out from, uh, from Oshawa to join us. Um, we did give away a unicorn dart package that night, um, over $200 in prizes um, in a draw. Phil Jones from Mississauga here, fellow dart player, uh, wound up winning it. He was so excited when he came in on Saturday to pick it up. Uh, we actually took a picture of him, so many of you uh, on Facebook in our group can certainly log in and see a picture of Phil with his, his new dart package. So everyone had a great time. We can't thank all of you enough for coming out. Um, we had a chance while John was here. Yeah, I had a chance to reminisce. It was, it was a lot of fun for me to spend some time with him. Uh, we weren't at a dart tournament or at a, a major event. The fact that we had a chance to, to talk about old times. John and I were fortunate to, uh, to start way back in 1988, um, my first year in Peel. John's as well in the Peel Dart League. Um, everyone seems to have a John Part story, whether uh, they were beat out of the first round in the Provincials. Many Americans have John Part stories, whether they uh, played him in the first round of the Blueberry Hill or, or down in Vegas at one of John's favorite tournaments. Um, so a lot of people do have great John Part stories. My John Part story was in 90, uh, 1988, wow, that was a long time ago, 21 years. Um, John and I both joined the Region Appeal Dart League. We certainly hadn't known each other at that time. Uh, John signed up for uh, Old Tools Rexdale. I played out of Norma Jeans. Now I was 14 at the time. So talking to my mom, you may want to ask her one day what in the heck she was doing letting a 14 year old go out to play at, uh, at a dart league on a Tuesday night when he's definitely got school the next morning. Um, but I was fortunate to play with a lot of great guys who made sure I got home on time every night. Um, so I had a lot of fun. And, and John and I were talking a bit about the players we used to play against. Some have passed on. Um, some have gone and done great things, some are out of darts completely, but we certainly had a good time on Friday reminiscing and discussing everything. So I've got a lot of great stories um, um, from, from my years in darts and, uh, and was fortunate to, uh, to play with a three-time world champion um, my first year in A Division and Region Appeal League. Anyway, on to John's darts. Um, John himself is now using what's called the Machina set by Unicorn. Unicorn's gone and released two new designs this year. Um, for many of the players, the black and the machina. Now the black is a similar design to the tungsten and golden sets that have always been around. Um, the set that I'm really excited about that they've created is the Raymond Barnevelt set that they now sponsor. Um, they've designed it in black and there's a lot of neural and rings on it, but I'm going to do a whole other show on Raymond Barnevelt's darts uh, at another point. Today we're going to talk about John Part. So John Part's black sets are similarly designed to the uh, Latinum, the Golden, and the Standard World Championship Tungsten.
The blacks are going to have a little bit more grip to them than the tungsten, the golden and such. There's a little bit more catch, same knurling, same ring sort of design across it, same barrel length, available in the same weights. Um, his hero sets though do come in, in even weights, um, but we've got, and I'm going to double check here, we've got an odd weights, the world champion golden, the latinum, the world championship tungsten, and the new machina and the new blacks, again, are in odd weights. So 23, 25, and 27 grams. So very similarly designed to the tungsten and the goldens, both I've got right here. There's the tungsten set, there's the golden set, there's the black set. So all three designs are almost identical. But what John is using, what is new to the Unicorn lineup is the Machina. Um, Kevin Painter's darts seem to have a finish that was similar to this that's been around for a while. So I believe they've taken the same finish and they created it for their World Championship line. So the dart itself looks like it's possibly three or four years old. You've thrown it a thousand times. So it has somewhat of an aged look to it. But what it is, it's a finish, a matte finish to the dart that gives you a, a superior grip as far as I'm concerned. If you don't like sharp rings on a dart, this might be a great substitute. Some of the Piranhas, the Jockey Wilson Ghost Grips, uh, even the Phil Taylors and the Raymond Barnevelts are quite a sharp dart. Um, it's great for people that, uh, again, construction all week long, you go out to league on Friday night, you want to be able to hold a dart, but some of them are just a little too sharp, especially for ladies' fingers that, that don't like something so so rough, I guess, along their fingers. This is a great solution to solve that problem. John himself played Tuesday. Today would be Thursday. John played Tuesday back in England um, in the Championship League. Um, Phil Taylor actually threw a, a nine darter against him. Um, but John is using a 23 gram Machinas. So we, we think the, the grip on it's fantastic. Um, again, John starts are somewhat front heavy. There's a little bit of a taper here, but a little bit extra weight there in the front. Um, so a balance point that you're going to find more towards the front of the dart than the back of the dart. John himself holds the dart quite close to the front um, as you watch on television him throw. Um, so it's a perfect grip for his hand and for a lot of people who have sold a lot of John Part starts over the years. For those of you, um, and it's a, they're a fantastic price, I believe they're only $95 Canadian on our website. So they are well priced compared to the $150 Blacks, uh, the $100 and $110 um, World Championship uh, Tungsten and Golden and such. Um, so at $95, they are a fantastic price. We're really happy with them, 23, 25, and 27 grams. Now, for those of you that don't want to purchase such an expensive dart, but um, want to support a fellow Canadian, John Part, our fellow North American, three-time world champion, um, John does have a silver star set that they have by Unicorn. Again, darts that are available 23, 25, and 27 grams. They're 80% tungsten, so now they're not as, as dense, uh, not as thin of a dart. But they're 80% tungsten and they're $50, so we're really happy with the price point, which is fantastic for everybody. Um, they've certainly sold really well, especially for those in leagues that are just starting out. So the Silver Stars are also available in 80% tungsten. Uh, we think they're a great idea for everybody. Anyway, lots of information about the John Parr darts. They're here now. I'm just at the Unicorn Demo area. We're going to leave this up and running until September 25th. So all the darts are here for you to come in and try out. The Blacks and the Machinas are pre-orders, but they're here uh, for everyone and a lot of the, the different weights to try out. Um, so we think you'd be really happy with them. They're, they're fantastic darts. John's certainly using them, certainly enjoying them. Anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. We'll have more product reviews. Again, I'm going to come back with a Raymond Barnevelt sets for everyone to, uh, to learn about. We think they're going to be a great set. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.